Good morning, YouTubers. I don't need to keep repeating it. You know what day it is. <laughs> I will say it's cold and snowing here again. You, keep, you think spring's on the way. I'm staying nice and warm out here. Uh, I have two heat sources. I have a torpedo style heater that's kerosene and I, uh, it's getting low actually. I, when I first come out in the mornings, I'll fire that up and it'll heat the garage pretty fast. Then I have a regular propane heater out here. Actually getting low on both fuels. Today, I'm going to do something special. I don't think I've ever done this one. I've smoked it many times, but I don't think I ever reviewed it. Dunhill Deluxe Navy Rolls. This one is from 2015. Beginning of 2015. Or no, I'm sorry, the end. <laughs> Vapor. Uh, of course, it's still being made today by Peterson. And uh, getting to that... I'm going to answer a couple quick more questions from last week. Somebody had asked me what my favorite pipes were that I like to collect. Dunhills. This one is a 320. It's a very little pipe. It is an oval shaped pipe. Look at it. 1954 as you can see, or maybe not see, it's in excellent shape. Let's get this cracked and see what we got going on. Tin's a little rusty around the edges. You can see, not much, but a little bit. Oh my, my. <laughs> ah, instant heaven. <laughs> get in there and get you some of that. Look at it! Was that amped up enough? Some guys were complaining that I was going really lackadaisy on my look at it lately. Those are fantastic. That, my friends, doesn't get any better, in my opinion. Just some pure, sweet Virginia notes. Typical grass, barnyard hay type notes. I can smell the sweetness, if that makes any sense. I will get my pipe packed and give him my honest thoughts. Okay, we're back. I believe it's been probably two or three years since I've smoked this. And being from 2015, it has some nice age on it. It's made by Peterson now, if you didn't know it. Which leads me to another pet peeve complaint. Everybody cries when McClellan's gone or when Dunhill went away. Now Peterson took over the, the blends. They're exactly the same. Nothing's changed but the name. And now people don't buy them. <laughs> I don't believe they're all back, but 90% of them are back. answer two more quick questions a couple people had asked me and I've stated this a hundred times before pipes or tobacco what are you more interested in what do you buy more tobacco <laughs> and the last question was from several people this past week actually wanted to know what I'm bulking up on been cellaring lately. Well, I haven't been buying a lot because I have so much already. I always say I'm going to quit 
I got enough to last me my lifetime, but I still buy. <laughs> this week I ordered, I don't even know why, because <clears throat> I didn't even like it, but I bought, <clears throat> sorry about that, I bought some more of that eight state burley, even though I didn't like it. <clears throat> I didn't buy a bunch, I bought a few, and I bought a pound of New Minster, the slices, the Virginia slices, got a pound of that. I got a pound of the uh, the rounds, I believe, I forget what they're called, the 403 or, oh yeah, the Superior Round 403, got a pound of that. I bought some more Peterson Deluxe Navy Rolls. I bought, what else did I get? Uh, Eric Stokeby's, not the new, special release. I bought the, I believe it's the 1913 flake. I think it is. I think it's a Virginia Perique and maybe some Cavendish. And I think I got something else coming. I can't remember. Nothing big. And what's my plans to stock up on here in the immediate future? I'm going to buy some more Capstan Blue. I'm gonna buy some more Peterson Deluxe Navy Rolls, and I'm gonna buy some more Peterson Flake, which would be the original Dunhill Flake, the blue and white label. This is really, really good. <laughs> Very rich, deep, sweet, but yet peppery spice. I haven't had a Scudo for probably a couple months either. I went through like two tins of uh, 15, 16 year old age of Scudo I bought at the show last year. And I'm like, well, you gotta slow down. <laughs> so uh, to compare the two, I don't know. This stuff's pretty good. It's definitely on the pricey side. I believe the Peterson Deluxe Navy Rolls now, you're lucky to find it for under $18. If you want a, a tobacco that ages very nice in your cellar, People ask me all the time, why do you crack so many tins? Well, because I used to be a hoarder to where I would just buy, buy, buy and never want to open anything until one tin was completely gone. And I'm, I'm like, you know what? Life is too short. The world is in chaos, getting worse by the day. I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm not going to just open everyday common tobaccos that everybody can get. I'm gonna open special things as well. And that's what mason jars are for. I was gonna wait and open this Peterson Deluxe, or <laughs> Dunhill Deluxe Navy Rolls with the tin of Peterson that I had coming but and compare them, but I couldn't wait. <laughs> so I will compare them when I do get, I think the package is supposed to come today. But I'm sure many, many of you have had this one. Leave your thoughts and comments below. And stay tuned for something that me and Classical Pipes Dion Powell has coming up. Look for that here in the future. No harshness, no tongue bite, no aftertaste in my mouth, tears up my mouth like a strong Latakia blend would do. Just an all day smoke for me.
sweet and sassy. I always tell my wife, I laugh. It never fails. <clears throat> Every week when I make my pipes, there'll be one that I, I really like and one that's just eh, you know, to me anyway. Every time I say I like that pipe, that, that would be mine, I would buy. It's the ones that never sell. <laughs> I don't get it. But uh, I, I made two last week. I believe they were both Mortas. They were both billiards. One was more of a pot shape, and then I have more of a traditional billiard that I showed in the beginning of this video. All dressed out jet black with a uh, red and black swirled stem. And I really like it. I really like the shape of it, everything. And it still hasn't sold, just go figure. I mean, it will sell. It's just every time I like something, it's the way it is. <clears throat> Anyway, I may be back tomorrow. We'll see what's going on. Maybe I'll uh, do the uh, New Minster Virginia slices if they come today. Everybody has a great weekend. I'll talk to you boys and girls later.